<laughs> oh, Claire! Oh, Claire! <laughs>
However, I will put this out there. She has not been a child for a huge amount of time. So I do want to give her a little bit more time yet. We want to get a few of these back up. And in particular, she wants to become the rambunctious scamp that she always wanted to be. So we need to get her motor skill up to level uh, five. And we need to get her practice typing for four hours. How are you guys? Oh gosh, you're still alive. Which I'm really, really happy about. Because at any time, just guys, guys. Take, take her all in. Take her all, a bit closer. Take, take her all in. Because at any one time, she could be ripped from us. And then we will never see her again. So, you know, enjoy those wrinkles Elfin, while you can. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, oh hello, Ali as well. Oh, hello. Guys, take him all in. Take, take, take him in, take him in. Where's he gone? Look at this as well, guys. Become good friends with her for... What? Have four grandchildren, three out of four. So we've got Lily Bear, we've got Kira, and we've got Charlie Rose, and we've got Connor. We have four, so I don't get why that hasn't worked. I do not get why that hasn't worked. Through marriage, adoption, or more old fashioned means. Guys, I've no, no idea in the whole world why that hasn't worked, but Emily, Emily could be changing things very, very soon. Have you managed to get? You have. Oh, well done. But you've, you're half an hour late for work. So, you know, we may have got her to do what we want to do. But look, look at that smug face. She's got one up on us as well, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at these guys getting into their spooky Sunday with some Halloween watching, you guys. This is Thriller right here. Look at this. Look at him go. He's been an angry werewolf. Ooh, there you go. Halloween. Spooky Sunday. It's already happened, you guys. I've given it to you early. I hope you're happy. Taylor! <gasps> I told him not to sleep and look at this. He's two hours late for work, you absolute pookie. Get your butt to work right now, young man. Emily, I hope you're working hard. No, she's working normally. Obviously, she is working normally. Why would she be working hard, you guys? It's not in her best interest to work hard. This cute little pook does not have work for two days. So she still needs to write books. How is the old Max and me going? <gasps> you need to write another one. Oh my gosh. Um, 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 how many have you managed to write so far? You've done volume two, three. You're on volume five. Jeez. I, I don't know how you know so much about Max, but fair play to you. Let's get another Max and me on the go. Write genre book. We can, <laughs> when we get to 10, we'll write a screenplay, you guys. Oh, look at Ali stealing my PC. I see how it is. Keep it short. Otherwise, it's a long story. I'll tell you what. This one is going to be a non-fiction, so it is going to be a longer story because it's the most epic chapter of them all, you guys. Oh, where's she gone? Here she goes. Here she goes. This one is going to be Max and me. We keep changing the way we write. <laughs> we write this bit. There's no consistency to the series. So this is volume six, and this one is going to be called How I Escaped Max. You see that, guys? Before it was all about Max, but now she broke the fourth wall on the third, fourth wall, and now it's. She's revealing that she is the author and she managed to escape him. Not really that she escaped him as such. It was very sad and like emotional and you guys still don't really forgive me for it. But you'll get my drift. <gasps> Ali was hacking. Oh my gosh. Ali's just sat on his PC hacking. I Lampy never told him to do that. You have 22,000 pounds, Ali. You don't need to hack anything. You don't even have Shelba. a single bill to pay. <laughs> what an absolute pook. Okay. How is she doing at work? She's doing excellent. Haha. <laughs> There's no way you're coming home without getting a promotion today. Schmooze with your boss, young lady. She's gonna get a work opportunity in Dubai. I can just feel it. <gasps> Taylor's heard about a scandal stemming from the office and immediately is faced with a dilemma. Does he admit the scandal or bury it? Reveal it! Let's have some, like, good politicians for once. Because right now, things ain't looking great in the real world. So let's get them good on the Sims with beautiful Taylor. He's a good-hearted politician, you guys. He's the press erupting the questions, but the clatter quickly dies down as they see that Taylor is telling the truth. Things immediately improved. Why can't life be actually like the Sims, you guys? Why? Oh, Claire wants to watch a flirty TV show. I swear you're already watching flirty TV shows, Claire. Yeah, you are, you absolute pook. Okay, switch to the news and then switch back to Grey's Anatomy. That's how we'll fulfill that. There you go. Doing more whims, you guys. What does she want to do now? Flirt with someone. Oh, Ali Bear. <laughs> Come and be enticing with him. Look at these two. Still so in love. 
Pumas are <laughs> So cute! I hope I really like that, you guys. Like, literally, The Sims oh, is my, like, God. aspiration for life. <gasps> She's got, he's got, she's got Ali all flirty as well. It's such cutie pies. <gasps> They're awesome, you guys. Like, literally, I'm basing my hopeful future life on my Sims. Because they're so awesome. <laughs> Look at me, I'm still wearing my buns into old age, you guys. Obviously, I don't have Claire's wedding ring, but still. Oh, oh, what's going on? They're really happy about something. Oh, they're off to go woo-woo. Oh my gosh, I did not tell them to do that. Okay, guys, please, just remember your OAPs. This is actually a dangerous activity for you guys. Have fun, but be very careful, okay? Just be careful, you guys. No dying upstairs right now. Oh, I love this picture. I just realized we don't need this uh, chair anymore. There you go. No more toddlers in the house right now. So we can pop one of these little Stalin chairs instead. Oh, I just put one over there. <laughs> we don't need that one. Oh my gosh, she did it. She actually did it. I cannot believe that. That's all it took the whole, you're gonna be able to be a model for a couple of days before you have to leave in pregnancy. So that's what it took. She could become a designer, a fashion journalist, or a model. And you know we really, really want her to become a supermodel. So she's going to become an amateur model and try and build her way up. I cannot believe you guys that she has finally, finally done it. Look at her. Damn it. They figured me out. They figured me out. <gasps> she's doing the sicky pie. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I actually can't believe it's worked. You guys, it has worked. I was just literally about to go buy Lilith. Um, oh, what kind of crazy things are these? <gasps> Festival lights. Oh, it's Diwali, isn't it? Oh, that's really cool. Is it Diwali? I think it's Diwali. Oh, it's just being Diwali. But I was, I was gonna like, wait for Emily to come home being like, have you got your promotion? And then I actually wanted to go and buy this so that um, Lilith can get her motor skills up. So that's why I missed her coming home. I actually forgot to just check if I could change the color of this. I'm gonna do it pink to match Lilith's eyes. Okay, so um, Lilith and little friend Arino can go and play together. What's a friend called? Fatima. They've come home together to come and hang out with their little Michi Machi hairstyles. Super cute, super cute little babies together. And we have a supermodel who is almost definitely pregnant because there was some little pukes going on outside there. But, oh, look at Taylor in his cool little jumper. Oh, Taylor, looking styling. Taylor has the same hair as Jamie Wynn. If you don't know what that means, go and watch my latest Sim Challenge video. <gasps> but that's, that's awesome. I'm so glad she has finally got to the whole model career track. You've been signed to an amateur modeling agency, but you'll still need to do a lot of work from your own, from taking selfies for Simstagram to checking in with bigger casting agencies to getting your face noticed. Hopefully you'll make it big soon. Next promotion is a print model. <gasps> so she needs to practice her modeling. Does she do this in front of a mirror? I wonder have we got a mirror in her room? We need like a big full-size mirror in her room, don't we? Okay, let's work on that I'm kind of thinking we could probably I'm gonna get rid of the clock and put a big mirror against this wall here Okay, these are the biggest ones I can do. I think that's very model worthy like Taylor's probably gonna be like Oh my gosh, I'm definitely very on show red now because the mirrors in this room are absolutely huge But hopefully this is gonna ah, where do you do it then? Well, she's got mirrors in her room now. Where are you going? How do you practice modeling? You surely don't practice it on a PC. Does she just practice it on herself, I wonder? I mean, I have these poses now. So, oh no, these, I have them in cast though. Ah, so I can't look, I could get her to pose. <laughs> but she would be posing as a toddler. So, which I think is probably gonna look kind of hilarious. <laughs> Where's she gone? Where's she gone? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's Emily, the supermodel. That is actually hilarious. Okay, please stop doing that now. Stop, Emily. <laughs> that is actually hilarious. But I have got some poses. I need to show them to you guys. But how do I get her to practice modeling? Okay, she can do it in front of this mirror. So I'm gonna buy another mirror for her. I know this one look works, so I'm just gonna buy this for her room as well. There, I'll give it a different edge so it looks a little bit different. Go practice modeling, Emma, Emily. I wanna see how it looks. Okay guys, so this is what practice modeling looks like. It looks like a lot of pulling a very angry, mean face. Checking out your butt. Doing some like picking fluff off yourself, like. 
What do you think, guys? Can I be a supermodel too? Wow, Emily, I think you need to like look a little bit happier when you're doing it. You look too angry. Why does it meant to look happy? You're meant to be selling a lifestyle, Emily. Sell a lifestyle. Oh gosh. It's going to be a while, isn't it? Pokeballs are talking to Emma. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Oh my gosh, you guys, she only works three days a week now. She doesn't have work for five days. Well, you ain't becoming a supermodel anytime soon. However, I want to show you guys the poses that I managed to get. So let's get her into like uh, her normal clothes first. We might actually have to give her a new outfit, guys. Now that she's a supermodel. Well, she's not. She's an amateur model, but I think this one's a little bit like too young for her. So I'm gonna update this outfit. Okay, so we've got like her original look. The look that you see her in most of the time. I actually have just realized I really hate the shoes with this look. And I'm gonna give her some big badass boots with it instead. So that's like look number one. This is like the new look, look number two, where she like sweeps all her hair to one side and she's got this really cute little top on. And I, I like, I've changed her makeup up a little bit. I think she looks really cool like that. And then finally, you guys, we have look number three, which is this other look here. And she's got like little sparkles under her eyes. But what I wanted to show you guys was, we'll put her in look number two for this. These are the little poses Stephanie. that I've got. So it looks like she's being all weird and nerdy now, but they're actually like uh, they're model poses, so. One is, I'm gonna have to remember that she's insider, so don't let me forget that. So one is linked to mean. Ah! When I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you see that? She like, she goes through all of these poses. Let me get her to do it again, close up. Oh my gosh! She actually has a supermodel inside of her, you guys. It's there, just waiting to be used. And then another one is linked to loves outdoors. There you go, you guys. <gasps> she has a supermodel in her. Yeah, she definitely does. And then another one I think is linked to foodie. <gasps> oh my gosh, Emily, look at her go. <gasps> you are a supermodel, really. Let's see this one from a slightly different angle. Oh my gosh. I love that because she actually could be one, you guys. She has it in her, really. <laughs> I could just watch her do these all day. I think it's like the most fun thing ever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna like if you have any good poses, hey, please let me know. Through. I'm gonna purr back on that one. I just thought it would actually be hilarious to see Claire in her pajamas oh, doing poses. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh Claire! Oh Claire! Oh Claire! <laughs> She's just like, oh, I need Neurofen. Oh my gosh. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Oldie Claire in her PJs doing them. Okay, what was that set up before? Let's go back. There we go. I think that's what she was on. So there we go. We've got a new look for Emily. And I just wanted to show you those poses because it's actually hilarious. Okay. Oh, she's straight into bed after that. Wow. Okay. When you wake up, my love, you have shown some signs of sickness outside and you you now are the model so we need to know for sure here we go you guys one minute one minute let's get a beautiful camera set up ready to experience this moment with emily where are we is this the no wrong bath wrong bathroom claire wrong bathroom okay it's pretty dark it's pretty dark but here we go in she goes all happy is all the happiness about to be taken away yes. emily yeah. We, she oh, might celebrate, but... you guys. She's weeing. Yumbala, <gasps> be huh. Is she not pregnant? Oh! Oh my gosh, she actually is! <gasps> I thought she was raging because she wasn't, but there we go, you guys! Emily is eating for two! Hopefully not for three, though. <laughs> I don't think she could handle three where Bab is. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look, look, look. Where is she? Oh, she's got her pregnancy belly. Look at it go. Oh, she's got to go tell him straight away. Oh, he looks happy. Yeah, he's happy. For a minute then I thought it was like... <laughs> but he's happy, you guys. He's actually happy. So this little bean... Oh, why are you napping, honey? Go to, go to actually go to sleep, okay? Can't just be napping. She had a nice little day. You ready for this creepiness? <laughs> she had a nice little evening playing with Fatima. She has managed to get her motor skills up to level five, but now she needs to practice typing. Only when she has completed the rambunctious scamp, 
And also, I think we say she has to get an A in school. When she has done both of those two, then she can become a teenager. And not a moment before, you guys. Emma's having lanigans in her sleep, by the way. Like, literally, I've never known anyone laugh in their sleep. Any sim. As much as Emma does. Let's see if we can catch her doing it again. Oh, quiet now. Tell you what, guys. These sims and their blatant lack of respect is actually annoying. How very dare you. Little Emma's cooked everybody some morning pancakes. Uh, Emily, why have you not got your cool new look on? Look at that pregnancy. Actually, you can barely see her pregnancy bump because she's so thin. And she is like hiding it under her like blouse layers. I see how it is, Emily. I feel like Emily is one of those people as well that would definitely... Why? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ali, why does Ali want to kill us? I feel like Emily is one of those like girls that would not definitely not like get any pregnancy weight during the whole pregnancy So I think I'm gonna have her do a little workout today. <gasps> Lilith's getting some pancakes as well Well done little cutie bin Lilith Having breakfast with your family. Okay, so if you guys remember the gym is now what was once Jessie's bedroom so It's actually underneath here. So I think Emma is gonna do Emily's gonna do an endurance run and Taylor I think will work out alongside her Maybe Ali can do a little gentle workout in there as well because you know he likes that kind of thing and well, Everybody go and do a little bit of working out together now This is where I could kind of influence the pregnancy a little bit if I listen to alternative music Then it increases the chance of it being a boy for a girl. I think it's pop but I think it's pop. I'm gonna see what just comes on. I've just got Emma to go down and turn some music on So we'll see what happens. See what music comes up when she turns it on. I honestly don't know what I want We've got Connor at the moment who's a little boy, but then we have so many girls in the family It probably would be nice. I think to have another little boy. Okay, so Emma's put some music on. I can't tell what that is it's, to me, it sounds like alternative though. I think it's potentially as alternative music. So there we go, you guys. We could be having another boy. Oh, wow, Taylor. That was the worst. That was the worst workout I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I forgot that she goes bald when we go through the window. <laughs> oh, Emily. But there she is. You can see her hair behind. But she's running with the bump, you guys. The bump is not stopping her from keeping her model waif like figure. So off she goes. Emma has given up on boxing instead wants to chit chat with Lilith, which I like. That's cute. In fact, why don't you invite- oh wow, you're super tired. What were you doing all night? I was gonna say invite Boyf around. Little- where's he gone? Where's he at? Little J around? But I actually think you're way too tired for that, Emma. Oh my gosh, Ali has the dangerously tired emotion thing. Basically, elders don't have the stamina they used to, and at the moment, Ali is exhausted. Continuous strenuous activity could be fatal right now. Ali's having a little sleep because I'm so, so worried about something happening. That I'm just gonna send him to sleep so he's nice and safe. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. She's looking super pregnant. Okay, you know what I'm actually gonna do? Um, I've never done this before, but I can't have a social event, which is actually a baby shower, which I think we should do for Emily because I've never done one before. <gasps> Claire's climbing the rock climbing wall. Oh my god, Claire, can you not please? Okay, so we need to do a baby shower. I'm gonna do it as a prestige event just because I've never done one before. It's best to wait until you're in the second trimester. Gold rewards include a new bassinet and nursery furniture. I think we're definitely in the second trimester. So the host is obviously going to be a pregnant little Emily. And then I think we should invite around. It's like a girly thing, a baby shower, isn't it? So let's... But there's no way I'm not inviting James. Oh my gosh, Emily, you need to get to know the ladies in your family a little bit more. Okay, it's baby shower time. I should probably buy some, like, cute baby things to throw in this living room. This room, which is actually a little bit of a mess. <gasps> Okay, baby baby shower things. Ah! <gasps> okay, a baby shower greeting card. Perfect. Let's pop pop one of those down. <laughs> so you know, look at that. Totally baby showerific now. Is there only one? Damn, okay. <gasps> and we've got baby shower presents. Okay, perfect. That's that's good. At least we've got gifts. This is kind of hard for me to like do because I've never been to a baby shower. Like, I'm not at that point in my life yet where they're a thing. Um, so I'm just kind of guessing what happens at them. I'm thinking it's lots of non-drinking, you know, because the the baby's mum can't obviously have any drinks. <laughs> okay, guys. So I fashioned kind of like a bit of a baby shower area 
Wait, pause, 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 pause. So, we've got like this little bush in the living room. I don't know. I thought they could kind of hang out here. There's like um, a nice beautiful balloons up there. There's loads of little baby shower like crafts and presents. There's a little bush and this. And then we've got like um, on here, you can see like little cards and whatnot and presents. And a little cute picture and some little macaroons. Like literally, there's even a ladybird, you guys. So everything's all nicely kitted out. Ready for her cute little, oh, wrong button. Ready for the baby shower. So, someone needs to come and feel your belly. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You just need to clean up in here right now. Can we just load the dishwasher real quick? Real quick. Let's just load the dishwasher, okay? I'll, I might have to help you out. Can you just, can you just clean up quick? Clean up. Oh man, she's not cleaning. I'm going to have to help her out. There you go. The dishwasher is on. So where, where are all the baby helper people? Claire needs a wee, so she's not going to be much help. Okay, here they go. They're all coming in now. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to, like, create a group. So that all the baby people are in the same group. Let's get all the girly whirlies in there. Oh, Max came along. Great. I was hoping he would come. Okay, so why don't all the baby goers come and, come and sit together over here, okay? So some of the things we have to do is... Invite people to feel the pregnant sim's belly, view the presents, and share the big news. Okay, so I guess she can share the big news with these guys. Oh, look! They're all actually coming in and hugging out! I love that! I didn't think they would do this. Look at little Roxy in there. How cute does she look? And little Jessie's come as well. Oh, she's sharing the big news! Charlie Rose is super excited. Okay, I just need to do this with a few th sims for a few times. Man, she's looking super pregnant. She is not hiding that pregnancy belly. It is full on out there for everyone to see. Okay, so the pregnant mama needs complimenting as well as part of this. So I think uh, little Emma should go over and compliment her. Come on, Emma. Come and make her feel good, please. She's got this little uh, boost from looking at beautiful presents. So that's good. The beautiful... Every, Emily's humbled by the beautiful presents that her friends brought for her as the baby shower. I mean, it's mainly family, but still. Oh, she's looking super pregnant. Oh, look, Max came. Oh, bless him. We've not seen him in a while. It's nice to see little Maxikins, you guys. <gasps> okay, so we've, she's been complimented. She still needs to share the big news with people, but I feel like everybody already knows. <gasps> she can invite people to feel the baby, at least. <gasps> oh my gosh, Roxy's gonna feel her tummy. Oh, I like this, because we don't usually have this around a baby. This is the first time we've ever done this. And bless Roxy and Jessie have never actually been pregnant. So they, I think they'd quite want to feel the tummy. She can make Charlie Rose feel it to be like, don't do this for a while. <laughs> don't be doing this for a while. Oh, look, Jessie's feeling it now too. She's like, do to feel my tummy? Why not? Oh, it's actually a really cute interaction. Oh, I bet Jessie would be super happy for her little sister. Oh, the final invite to feel her tummy. I think she's going to do with, gra uh, not granddad, it's her dad, isn't it? Ali is her dad. I always get confused with Emily and Emma because they seem to come so much later. <gasps> Yay! Okay, we've done the like big main one. Now we just need to like hug people and thank them for coming, which seems super easy. It's quite a lot of like work for poor, poor Emily running around talking to everyone. <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, I think we did it. I think we actually had a gold baby shower. And it's just these guys hanging out at the end because it was kind of a late baby shower. It went on till 2 a.m. I think she should thank Max for coming as well. <gasps> baby shower complete. Oh my gosh, what a wonderful baby shower. The guest, yeah. guest spot in a bought the most expensive thing on the registry. Check it out in your household inventory. <gasps> I don't know what she's about to do there, but let's see what it is. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at all this stuff we've got for it. Rockabye bassinet, but where is it? <laughs> There's meant to be a bassinet there. But instead, it's just a baby hanging in midair. Awesome. Okay, that's great. But we got some cute stuff for the nursery. Which we will have to make in the next episode because what I think I'm gonna do, you guys, is she in a third trimester? Oh, host masterpiece! I missed such a wonderful time at a baby shower! Soon she'll be holding a little bundle of joy in her arms. So she's actually in, where's it gone? She's in her third trimester very, very soon. So she has one more stage of pregnant belly to get. But what I'm gonna do is I want it to be a surprise whether she has a boy or a girl. So I don't actually wanna know. Oh my god, is she arguing with Max? She's actually. She's actually, Ma she's actually arguing with Max a little bit. Oh gosh, look at that. I swear he can't go anywhere and be nice, you guys. This is why as much as I love Max, he needs to be kept at arm's length. So there you go. So I want it to be a secret what she actually has for 
her, uh, her gender of a baby and whether she has twins or anything. I don't want to know. I want to keep it a secret until we find out in the next episode of The Sims 4 Dreamhouse. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, if you've enjoyed her becoming a supermodel, and if you've enjoyed her baby shower and her actually being pregnant, please give this episode a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And let me know whether you think it is going to be a boy or a girl. We are leaving it up to the gods. Only they know what it's going to be. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.